into another, and it's been 10 years since and three albums, and here we are doing our uh, self-titled release. Wow. That is fantastic. So so tell us a little bit about, uh, well, first of all, how the hell did you end up in Finland? That's that's my first question, brother. (laughs) So uh, they have a name for people like me here. They call us uh, love refugees. Uh, the the Finnish Finnish uh, ladies go out in the world and and somehow men meet them and find themselves in Finland and uh, you think you go for a year or two but uh, next thing you know it's been ten years and two kids or you know something like that that's the usual story so I met a girl uh, I was working for a Finnish company as well and uh, and I thought I would move to Finland just to see what it was like you know I'm from Canada so I'm used to snow and beer and ice hockey and it's all pretty much the same here in finland i figured it would be kind of the same thing but uh i wound up uh staying here and uh found, finding some some friends in music let's say that's fantastic i think that's great so uh you're the fourth singer in the band fourth and you guys have this new song called fourth now is this the fourth album <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, let me uh, clarify a bit. So, uh, my, my that... name is is Brian Forth. So, uh, Forth is actually my last name. Uh, oh, I'm the only that okay. We've had from the beginning. So, you know, like Bon Jovi or whatever you yes, want to call it. Yes. But, uh, but that, so it's, it's, it's actually my name. Uh, we are a four piece band, uh, but this is not our fourth album. It's our <laughs> third album. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just amazed that you you know, end up in Finland and you've got this band. How do you meet these guys and, uh, and strike it up and, and get things rolling? Well, there is a really cool and influential old band from the eighties here in Finland called Hanoi rocks. And these guys used to yes. part. Oh, you know, them. I've heard of them. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, they were, they were part of the early hair metal scene. They were big yes, influences indeed. on people like uh, Guns N' Roses. And, you know, they were partying with Motley Crue and all these kinds of people. I didn't know them. I came here to Finland. I was just visiting on a holiday the very first time. And I, I met this guy in the corner of uh, a party drinking a bottle of whiskey. And uh, his nickname was Jack Daniels for for obvious reasons. And uh, he said, hey, do you like music? I said, yeah. He said, I got tickets to a concert for this band called Hanoi Rocks. You want to come with? I said, absolutely. Sure, let's go. So we went to the coolest uh, music venue here in Finland. um, and, And these four dudes came out on stage and it looked like, you know, somebody had, uh, you know, dragged them off of a, out of the bed, basically. They were almost looked like they were going to fall asleep. But then the lights came on and they started to play and it was one of the most phenomenal rock shows ever, ever seen. And, uh, and we had a hell of a night. And that guy who brought me there was my good friend and guitarist in this band, Tim. So that's how we met. We went to this rock show together and we just uh, shared a love of music and uh, started a kind of correspondence that went on for years and uh, we were in another band together then we kind of eloped out into our own sol- solo project because we have a very uh, similar writing style we love to write together a lot of the, the songs in our catalog have been written by Tim and I and uh, so that's how it started and the band has been evolving since then for almost uh, almost a decade Wow that's awesome so Bunny I'm going to throw it to you. Do you have any questions for uh, for Brian here? Yeah, I do. So, um, well, first of all, like, where can we, you know, find you at? So, where we can listen to your music or buy it and help support that? Sure. Yeah. Uh, the usual places. So, uh, all of our music is available on Spotify. You can go there and uh, look for fourth band f-o-r-t-h and you sometimes have to put the word band into the search field because it's a pretty common word uh or fourth official uh you can also go to uh itunes you can go to our spotify check us out on youtube all we've got uh, i think at this point seven music videos we did three music videos for this album which are all up on on youtube so just look for our band name fourth fourth band and uh then you everything awesome that's Thank awesome you. that's awesome so uh cool so hanoi rocks uh, got you into <laughs> I think they're, that's they're a cool band the, the the lead singer a guy named mike monroe 
I went to a second show with uh, with Tim, and uh, he went to do a stage dive, dive off of the stage. And the Finns are they're they're awesome people, but they're also a little bit shy. And uh, I just noticed that everybody was like parting away, and it was just me standing there alone. So I put my arms out and I caught Mike Monroe from a stage dive by myself. And the guy probably weighed about 75 pounds. I put him down like a little wind-up doll. He ran up and started playing again. He's a, it's a really cool band, and they put on a heck of a show. Well, they have uh, just an, an, an amazing, uh, amazing deal. I never knew that they were from Finland. Yeah, I, uh, yeah one of the most famous rock bands from Finland. I For think sure. that's awesome. So, uh, besides, uh, you know, the playing the music and 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 living over there, uh, what else is there about Finland that uh, attracts you? Uh, Good is... question. It, it's not, not at this time of the year is probably not the best time for me to answer it because it's dark up here. So we're we're way up at the uh, Arctic Circle almost, and so. <laughs> You know, from now until maybe December or January, we won't. We basically won't see the sun sunshine. Uh, the sun comes up pretty late, maybe ten down at three, and it's very very cloudy usually and wet. So that doesn't sound very nice. But in the summer, it's the opposite. You got sun all through the day and night. There's uh, just a really great vibe here in the city where I live in Helsinki. Beautiful city, lots of nature all around. A really good music scene, live music. Um, so th there's a lot of stuff to enjoy about life in Finland. It's, it's pretty stress-free. So Brian, would you say it's the best of both lives then because you described both seasons. So it's just party, party all the time and rock out, right? You got it. Yeah, it really is. So you, you, you get uh, both, both sides of it in the summer, you, everything comes to life and you know, you don't even need to go to sleep. It's bright all the time. But uh, but then everybody goes indoor in the in the winter time, and that's when all the rock clubs, or let's say it used to be when all the rock clubs were happening. Things are coming back to life now in Finland after all of the you know pandemic closures that we've all experienced. Uh, but it really feels like things are coming back now in Finland. So uh, that also makes it a great time to be getting the album out. That's good to know too. Yeah, thank you. So uh, fourth releasing fourth, uh, they are a Finnish Canadian <laughs> band. And uh, so why did you guys decide to self-title this, uh, this whole thing, this new ah, good, Good question. So this music, uh, I think it really reflects us as a band uh, better than, or in, in a more intimate way than what we've released before. It's a real uh, cross-section because we have a lot of influences from different genres inside the band. A little bit of uh, 70s rock into kind of 80s, uh, almost glam style. And then myself, I'm a child of the 90s. I grew up in Toronto in the 90s. So the Seattle Sound, and Grunge, Chris Cornell, you know, Nirvana, Ooh. these sorts of bands, they're close to my heart. And this album cuts a cross-section of all that. We've got tracks that have these kind of 70s stoner flavors to them. We've got <laughs> tracks that have this more like 80s glam rock feel. And then we've got tracks that have, uh, you know, more of this kind of grunge Seattle uh, vibe to them. So I think we just thought we were we, we had lots of names for the album. All seemed like they work pretty well. But in the end, we just kept coming back to the fact that actually this is us. This is really like our way of introducing who we are. We've kind of figured it out. It took us three albums to get there. But uh, I think this this album really encapsulates us as a band really well. That's awesome. That's awesome. We have got fourth with us today. They are going to be releasing their uh, release, their great studio album, Fourth. The self-titled release is the product of time well spent during the lockdown. So did that basically, was that a big thing over there in Finland? Or did they just lock down because all the other countries locked down? Yeah, I mean, who knows about the politics of it, but... Uh... But yeah, for for whatever reasons, of course, uh, they they close things down. I mean, the last proper official gig that we had would would have been back in uh, I'm gonna say in February or Mar was it March of uh, 2019. So Holy it's crap. it's a, a long way back. Or sorry, 20. When when did the pandemic? It's been you know time is getting. Oh yeah, it was 2020. It, I guess yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's 2020. But anyway, a year and a half ago. 
and uh, we uh, we had a, a gig, and then it was literally the next day we heard, okay, things are, are getting shut down, and uh, of course no one knew how, how long this was going to go on for. Uh, and music was the one thing that even though they opened up, and I think Finland's been more open than most places of the world, uh, they were real careful about live music for a very long time. So uh, live music venues were the last to start opening. Um, and now now it seems that we're kind of turning the corner and, and things are opening up again and, and musicians like us can get out and gig and meet people and share our material. And, you know, we're looking forward to that. That's great. So what 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 is a performance like? How would you describe this to folks that have never seen you live? Ah, well, we're pretty uh, organic and authentic. We don't have, you know, stacks of backing tracks. And, uh, you know, we we like to uh, improvise a lot of the parts of our performance. I would say we're pretty high energy. We like to bring the crowd in and uh, try and make a like a good good party feeling for for everybody. We don't take ourselves too seriously. I think most of the guys in the band have a good sense of humor. We love we love to rock, but uh, and and make like a big fat sound. But we're not worried about you know we want it still to be raw. So we are we are kind of a raw sound, maybe almost garage band if you will. Uh, but we also perform with. Uh, I would say some musicianship, I hope. Uh, our guitarist, Tim, is a virtuoso. He puts on a heck of a show. We have lots of fat harmonies that we sing when we do our music, with, which is a little unusual for some of the genres, especially the grunge stuff. Uh, but we like to have the almost kind of Queen-inspired harmonies. Everybody in the band is singing. Uh, so it's, it's a big, fat sound and a lot of fun. That's awesome. It is fourth. We have got a great guest with us today. They are fantastic. And... Uh, you can get their music online. They're on Spotify, Bandcamp, Apple Music, all, all the various places. So you guys are on all the various social medias, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all these places. Where, where do you get your most response for your music? Well, we have a big audience both in Facebook and, in, and Instagram, Uh so I think that we get probably most of the kind of conversation is happening in Facebook, even though that's kind of, you know, last year's platform. Uh, we, we have, because we started there, we have our kind of biggest base of fans there in Facebook. We're fourth uh, dot official in, uh, in Facebook. So if you want to check us out there, join the conversation, we'd be real happy to meet you. Uh, and Instagram is the same thing. Uh, so I would say those are two places where we connect with most of our fans. That's awesome. awesome. Did I miss it? Was there any pun to Star Wars and use the fourth? No. <laughs> that, you know, May the 4th, uh, it's once a year, and mm -hmm. uh, we always make something of it. So we're <laughs> always putting something out special for May the 4th. Uh, I'm a, like, hobby graphic artist, so you can go back in our Facebook and Instagram history and find all sorts of really dorky things we put out. I'm also a Star Wars fan and kind of a nerd myself, so... Uh, yeah, <laughs> given that my last name is Fourth, I've lived with it my whole life, so I think it just kind of transfers <laughs> over the band. Awesome. So uh, <laughs> you you go from the country of Canada to uh, to Finland, and uh, so assembling all these guys in this group. Tell me a little bit about some of the other members of the band. Yeah. So I've told you about Tim, my, my yep. dear buddy and guitar virtuoso. Um, then uh, the next guy to join the lineup, uh, we, we had one other bass player earlier, Tim's brother, in fact. Uh, he moved on to other projects, and we found uh, our, our bass player, Mikke Söderbach. Uh, Mikke is, is a good friend of the family. Believe, believe it or not, I met him in a, in a uh, baptism or it was a party for, for uh, he, he's friends of my, my wife's brother, and we were just out of a bass player, and there was Mick, and uh, I said, and he at the time, I think he was in three bands or something like that, and he's an yeah. incredible bass player, uh, and I knew he didn't have time for us, but I, I plucked up the courage to ask him anyway, and he said, well, I'll think about it, and, uh, and uh, my brother-in-law told me that hey give him time Mikke takes takes his time making decisions don't pressure him I think we waited like two months and then we got the call that all right boys I'm in Mikke also sings and I, I love to sing uh, harmonies with him he's got this uh, rich baritone voice I'm a bit more tenor 
So he's doing these kind of uh, under harmonies when we're performing live with me. And uh, we really enjoy singing together as well as playing our instruments. And then the, the latest uh, addition to our band is uh, Mr. Kari Storkovius on drums. Uh, we've been through more drummers than anything, and I, I don't know, I guess that's the case in a lot of bands. <laughs> drummers are special kind of people, generally. Uh, but Kari is a super experienced musician. Uh, he's played all genres. He's an opera singer. He's uh, trained in the music academy. He kind of won, when, when, when he's been with our band now for, I want to say, a year and a half, since the beginning of the pandemic. And uh, he really won us over with the audition. He came in and he had actually transcribed by hand all the drum parts for the songs and came with stacks of paper and actual like notated uh, transcribed drum lines. And that really impressed us. <laughs> so he's, he's a very, <laughs> very awesome. talented musician and also a fellow tenor like myself. So I get someone else to kind of fatten up my choruses with me when we're singing. That's great. That is, that is phenomenal. So, uh, where do you see uh, this band going as far as some of the goals and, and everything that you guys have? Well, we we like to think we're an international band. I mean, our, our songs from the previous albums of well, as well have been playing in Finland, of course, but also all over Europe, in my home country, in Canada, in the United States. Uh, you know, we have we have had, I would like to say, some pretty modest success with what we've done so far. But we're all really serious about music. We're still doing this. You know, we're not in our 20s anymore, clearly. Uh, and many people might have told us that, uh, you know, maybe it's time to start doing weddings or something like that. <laughs> it can be more money in it. But uh, but we just can't. We are really passionate about what we're doing. We take it very seriously. And we feel we've got something. So uh, we want to get on the road. We want to go and, uh, and play and tour and, and meet new international audiences we don't really mind where it is. Of course, here in, in Europe, the place to go for our kind of music is, for example, Germany or Sweden or the UK is, is a natural where they really have an audience for kind of English speaking spoken rock um, and in the kind of genre that, that we're in. So uh, we're looking for those kind of opportunities. And uh, we've had a lot of success now with this album. We've, we've had more streams and and more listings and more chartings and than ever before with this album um and you know we just released the album but of course we've done some singles beforehand and they perform really really well so uh, we're really excited we, we feel like something is cooking i would say um i wouldn't leave it out what about for maybe some movies or you know our songs in movies yeah. oh we, we love it we, we came very close at one point we got a call from some b-list uh, director in Hollywood, and and they were doing a s 80 stoner rock movie. We had a song called Vixen. Everybody loves those. Yeah, we got we got shortlisted, and then they actually selected the song. But then I don't know, the script took a different direction. Didn't mm -hmm. happen, but uh, we we're absolutely open to it. And in fact, I, I there's a platform that I'm checking out that uh, helps connect songs with. Uh, not just movie, but TV production and other things. Yes, and, uh, I, I think I've heard know, of I think, that. I've, I've had a couple bands that they've actually gotten their stuff picked up by, like, Netflix and things like that. So, yes, yeah. I would definitely check into that. How, how cool would that be? And, and yeah, Scott yeah, for sure. He's from uh, your home, you know, Canada, and so check into him because he's a writer, actor, producer, so you never know. He might need Ooh. your music. Who was that? Jiggy, did you hear me? No, I, I, I go ahead and yeah. go again. I, I missed that. You must have cut out there. Sorry. Uh, Sean McLean from Canada. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, give me his email. <laughs> I'll send it to you. Yeah. So uh, I guess before we let you go, uh, tell us about uh, where we can find you online and, and, and all the various platforms where people can buy your music and get involved with what you guys are doing. For sure. So uh, we're happy for people to find us on Spotify or YouTube, like I said, uh, but add that word, fourth, F-O-R-T-H, and then band, or, uh, or maybe our latest single, 1993, 1993. Um, look for that song. It, it tends to find it pretty easily. And same on YouTube. Uh, check us out there. You can see us performing. Actually, there, there's plenty of videos of us uh, performing live. 
we have a website as well, uh, fourth band or, uh, yeah, fourth band.com. Um, so that's another place where we always keep updated all of our latest news and, and, uh, stories and pictures and things like that. Um, so that's probably the best places to find us. And Fantastic. of course on, on social media, Facebook, fourth official, Instagram, fourth official. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we are going to do this. We are going to play, actually, 1993 here in just a few uh, moments. Oh, great. And uh, I appreciate you joining us. Thanks for doing this, brother. Thanks. This was really fun. It was nice to meet you both. I really appreciate it. Definitely. Thanks. Definitely. Thank you, sir. There he goes. That is Brian from 4th. And, uh, <laughs> Bunny, I am going to call you back as soon as this song is over with. Awesome. I think I a quick message so yes yeah. if you want shoot this shoot the guy the email here just put it in okay. the uh put it in the window here on skype i will talk to you here in just a few moments it is fourth it is 1993 and it's here on music cat Show me what it was to be true to yourself You kissed me and showed me everything I could be You broke the lock and set a boy free from himself
That is 1993. That is fourth. The band is fourth.